About 75 million Americans are facing another day of extreme heat. Temperatures are expected to soar in the 90s for nearly half of the country, and that includes Boston, Baltimore, and Charlotte, North Carolina. In cities like Albany, New York, and Charleston, West Virginia, it will feel like triple digits. This is the fifth day of the heat wave. More than 90 percent of the country is expected to experience above average temperatures for the next week. Lonnie Quinn, he's chief weathercaster of our New York station, that's WCBS, is here to put this heat wave in perspective. Lonnie, good morning, because it's July, so you expect it should it be, to be hot. hot. Anyway, yeah. Right? yeah. Sure. So do we really have reason to compl complain? Well, okay. Uh, we have a really good, strong understanding that there's a correlation between climate change right. and and extreme hot and extreme cold. Because right. remember, we just came out of a year where we had snow yep. in My April. All kinds of snow in April. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. And it's all about the flow of the jet stream, all right? Because the jet stream separates hot air from cold air, okay? The cold air is north of the jet stream. The hot air is south. Mm -hmm. And it flows like... Like a sine curve, okay, like a sideways S. Mm -hmm. And when it peaks, okay, when you get that big ridge, it fills in with all that warm air. Well, what happens is in climate change, you get higher peaks and lower valleys. It's not like you just get hot temperatures all the time. You also get the cold, cold. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've seen so but far. But it's a long stretch, though, isn't it? Five days? Of oh, okay. As far as like heat waves in general? Yeah. Uh, it depends. Uh, okay. Washington, D.C., you've got to get over 20 days to, to, to oh. sort of get up into their record setting territory. But here in New York City, the, you know, we've had uh, 12 days and we're pushing now our fourth day here in the city and there's more to come. Have summers in fact gotten hotter? In oh, that, that's, you know, without a doubt. You take, take a look at these days above 90 degrees. Now, I want to start with, you know, Miami, Florida, which is where the heat is. Miami has had 70 more days since 1970 that the temperatures have been above 90. Austin, Texas has had 30 more days or so where the temperature has gotten above 100. Look at that fact right there, okay? You go back to 1970, it was a rarity for Austin to have a day above 100 degrees. Now, they have 38.5 a year. Wow. wow. A year. So uh, it does seem like something is taking place out there. All right, Lonnie Quinn, thanks so much.